Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. Thank you so much for tuning into the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Uh, Graham Bitchard is our guest today. He's got a master's degree in uh, sports psychology. He's a mental skills coach, and he works with some of the top players in the NBA today. He's uh, joining us here on Health Professional Radio today to talk about how children should consider meditation as part of their everyday routine, as well as how parents can help the kids to get started. He's also launched a meditation app called Lucid that we'll talk about as well. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Graham Betchert. Thank you, Neil. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to be here. Right. Glad that you're here with us. Now, um, as I said, you, you've got a master's in sports psychology. What does that entail uh, in a nutshell? Uh, well, real quick, you know, sports psychology is, is the science of success. So it's about teaching people how to focus, how to be confident, and how to learn how to thrive under pressure. So sports psychology is for people that there's results on the line, they're competitive, they want to win, and they feel pressure. So it starts with athletes, but you know, these, these skills work with almost every human in the world because we all face pressure. We all are dealing with results and deadlines. And so we found that sports psychology helps students, parents, surgeons, lawyers, teachers, you know, really anyone who's looking to be uh, improve themselves in life and, and learn to deal with all the challenges that life throws at you. Now, how much uh, does this sports psychology rely on meditation or is rely kind of the wrong word to use? Yeah, you know, I would look at it like meditation is one of the many tools that sports psychologists and mental skills coaches uh, teach their clients. So meditation is a, you know, a practice that's been around for thousands and thousands of years. And over the last, you know, five or 10 years, the scientific validation is overwhelming for how positive meditation uh, impacts your life. So I think, you know, it's just another tool that we use and we have in our tool bag, along with like visualization and positive self-talk and goal setting. Uh, meditation is an awesome skill and tool that I think everyone should practice. Now, you do work with some of the, the top NBA players. I mean, these are these are adults. They're guys with goals. Yeah. They're guys that, um, you know, they've probably been working f toward this goal of, be goal of being in the NBA for quite some time. So uh, would you say that they're more uh, attuned to accept and benefit from meditation than children? You know, well, I think the the funny thing is a lot of the NBA players I've worked with, I met them when they were very young. So, for example, like Aaron Gordon for the Orlando Magic, we started working together when he was 11 years old. And he, you know, he just bought into the mental training. And so, you know, I just teach meditation like it's the thing to do. And so he just jumped in and started doing it. And so my experience with uh, a lot of the athletes I work with, I meet them when they're teenagers. And I, I, I help them kind of get this into their daily routine. Uh, because obviously, you know, these, these very good basketball players in high school, they face a ton of pressure. But I found that, um, you know, they buy right into it as long as they're taught it. And, you know, for me, I wasn't taught it when I was young. I didn't, I didn't start to learn this stuff till I was 19. So my goal was to try to give it to kids uh, when they're younger. And so Aaron Gordon and I now are working on uh, how we get it to five-year-olds. Because he was like, hey, I got it at 11. Why don't we try to get it to five-year-olds? I mean, the earlier you can get this, the better. You know, it's... It's not rocket science. It's not some far off, you know, wacky thing. It just it helps you focus in life. It helps you deal with all the stuff that's going on. So um, I, I think they're naturally, you know, uh, players trying to make it to the NBA. They're very driven, so they'll do anything to help themselves get better. But what they realize is, is this stuff helps their life far beyond basketball, you know, and these are life skills that they learn through a game. What is it about a kid, say five, six, seven, or 11, that makes them, for lack of a better term, get it at that age? Um, you've got Little League, you've got Youth Football League, and there are lots of thousands yeah. of kids all over the country. And not all of these kids are going to you know, be good at the sport at that level, let alone go to the professional level. What is it about the few kids that get it and maintain it into a professional career? whether it's in sports or some well, other discipline. Well, I think, like you said, it's uh, it's almost impossible to become a professional athlete. You know, I've worked with thousands of kids, and I'd say maybe 10, you know, became professional athletes. So really what you're doing is if, if a young kid is playing sports, hopefully they're doing it because they enjoy it and they love it and not because it's overwhelming pressure from their parents. And you use the game or the sport they're playing as kind of the hook to learn these skills. And you teach it to them. And for most young people it's going to end up being just a really great life skill for them. You know, so even if you're not going to be a pro athlete, you still have to deal with school mm -hmm. and all the pressures of school and the pressures of applying for jobs and trying to make it in your career and just dealing with life. So 
it's really life skills that you learn through a game. And so that's, you know, and, and occasionally there's some kids that pick it up when they're young and they happen to be extremely physically talented and a lot of stuff goes right in their life and they make it to be a pro. But for, for 99.9% of us, percentage of us, it's, these are life skills that we get to learn through a game. And like you said, there's youth sports is so big these days. Kids are playing competitive. You know, when they're five years old, the games are competitive now and there's, there's pressure behind them. So it's just just another way for us to meet kids where they are. And of course, we built an app because um, we're not saying you have to go to some three-day silent retreat with someone. We're saying, hey, everyone's got a phone, mm-hmm. so let's meet them where they are. And let's just build something that helps them out with the phone they're already using. Now, Graham, before we get into the app, talk about some of the, uh, as, a, as a sports psychologist who deals with kids, there seems to be a um, an everybody wins type of mentality in some youth uh, settings where everybody gets a trophy. Don't focus on the competition. And then you uh, come into their lives, and it's all about being better. Well, you're not better being better to be even you're being better to be better talk about some of right. the uh, conflict there with the mindset of everybody wins we're all equal as opposed to the mindset you know i'm going to win because i want to be better than so here's here's a really important i totally understand the concept of hey everyone wins let's all get a trophy uh the thing that i think is the most important thing that i've seen is your ability to fail and your ability to fail and then move forward and not let that derail you and stop you from everything you're doing. So I actually believe in trophies for winners and for people who win, because really it's not about the winner who gets the trophy. The real lesson is everyone else who gets to learn how to lose, because if you learn how to lose, you'll never stop yourself. And if you don't stop yourself, you can't be stopped. Absolutely. You're going to make mistakes. And so we, we call the skill next play speed. And it basically means, hey, no matter what just happened, I've got to move forward. I've got to move on to that next play. And I've got to try again with a great attitude, great effort, and great focus. And a lot of times, you don't get to have that experience until you lose. You know, that's when all the emotions come up. That's when you got to deal with all this stuff. So as opposed to avoiding those emotions, let's learn how to work with them. Because you're going to lose so many times in life, but really, you're not losing if you keep moving forward, you know? And... You've, you've heard many success stories of people making mistake after mistake after mistake, but they keep showing up, they keep moving forward, and all of a sudden they have a breakthrough. And so to me, I, I think it's important that we learn how to lose and we learn how to move forward um, because the kids that don't learn how to do that and they you know, refuse to move forward, they kind of stop themselves. So I, I actually think it's really important to learn how to lose. How can your Lucid app uh, help toward that end? Well, we, we, we made it really simple. So we made daily five-minute workouts, um, and we call the workout an MVP, and the M stands for meditation, the V stands for visualization, and the P stands for positive self-talk. So those are three tools that we try to teach everyone, and we, we, we break it down into five-minute daily workouts. And what we say is listen every day. Just, just get yourself focused every day. So listen to the app before you go to school before you go to your job, before you have an interview, before you're going to play sports, take a test, whatever it is you do, listen to it before you do that. And this will help get you into your zone, help get you locked in. And the, you know, the idea with mental training is it's just like physical training. There's no quick fix. There's no overnight success, right? It's all about repetition. So we want you to start to do it if you can every day. And that's why we made it five minutes long because we thought that was reasonable and people go, okay, I have five minutes. You know, I can do that. And as you start to do it day after day, you gain awareness, you gain practice, and you get better at the ultimate skill is being present, being in the moment you're in, not concerned about the past, not projecting fear into the future, but you're really engaged in what you're doing right now, going all in. And what we found is when people are present, they do the best at whatever they're doing. You know, that's the best chance you have to be successful is be all in with where you're at right now. Now, before you give us a website where we can get more information, talk about the compatibility across devices of your uh, app. Well, it works with everyone. You know, we have it on Android. We have it on iPhone. Um, You know, our company's been around for just about a year and a half. We've been out there in the world for just about a year now. And so, yeah, we're compatible with uh, all devices. And we're trying to uh, also expand and do, uh, you know, like long form uh, video content. We're doing more media. We're actually creating music now because everyone loves music. So we're taking a lot of the coaching that we do and we're putting music behind it. So kids can, and adults can, can listen to all of our stuff and, and have beats behind them. So 
what we found is people are enjoying the content that we have, and so we're just finding different ways to get it to them in ways that can reach them. So, but we are on Android and we are on iPhone right now, so we're out there. Um, yeah, you can find us. Great, man. Thanks, uh, Graham Betchart. Thanks for coming in. It's been a pleasure. And I'm hoping that you'll come back and speak with us in the future. Yeah, thanks for having me, Neil. We'll let's talk real soon. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio for this health supplier segment. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in studio with Mr. Graham Betchart. He's uh, got a master's in sports psychology, and we've been talking about sports psychology as that psychology relates to uh, kids. And we've been talking about the Lucid app. It's a meditation app that uh, works with Android and iPhone. It's available at getlucid.com. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, listen in and download at SoundCloud, and be sure and visit our affiliates page when you visit our platform at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au.